Tony Siebert believes that EV disruption will completely remake our cities, transportation, and thankfully, the world's emission profile. His thesis is this. Few people understand how fast disruptive technologies take over. Sieber says forecasters consistently forget technology adoption is not linear. It's typically an S-curve. That's how it went with mobile phones. In 1985, McKinsey gave AT&T a prediction that there would be 900,000 mobiles in the year 2000, when in fact, the number sold was a whopping 100 million. The International Energy Agency has consistently and massively underestimated solar panel uptake every year for the last 10 years. And that's how EVs will play out. On a per mile basis, EVs can be 10 times cheaper to power than internal combustion engines. An EV has 20 plus moving parts versus 2000 plus for the internal combustion engine. Sieber says because there are so few moving parts, the EV is close to zero maintenance and makers will be able to offer infinite mile warranties. EVs especially make sense for fleet owners because they last so long. Cars operated by fleets rack up an average of about 160,000 kilometers per year. So over five years, you either buy one EV or three internal combustion cars. Sieber predicts a 90% reduction in emissions from transport by 2030. Not because of governments, in spite of them. And that's good news for Australia, the land of EV taxes and an idiot prime minister that claims EVs will ruin your weekend. And that was episode 10 of Solar Quotes TV. We'll be back next month with a Made in Australia special where we'll visit the Aussie manufacturers making solar panels, inverters and batteries right here in Australia. Till then, I'm going camping in my EV. See you later.